Nearly 70% of Americans are on at least one prescription drug, and more than half take two, according to a recent study by the Mayo Clinic and Olmsted Medical Center. Researchers say the most commonly prescribed drugs are antibiotics, antidepressants, and pain-killing opiates. With that many pharmaceuticals filling medicine cabinets, it's important to keep them out of the water supply. Water quality professionals and researchers are looking at the potential impacts of pharmaceuticals and personal care products in our water supply. This group of compounds includes human and veterinary drugs, both prescription and over-the-counter, as well as consumer products like fragrances, lotions, sunscreens, and house cleaning products. Some of these compounds have been detected at extremely low levels in some water sources, sometimes in single-digit parts per quadrillion. However, water experts, like those at Southern Nevada Water Authority, are committed to protecting public health. The Water Authority takes water quality very seriously and tests our community's drinking water daily. In fact, the SNWA conducted more than 287,600 water analyses in 2016. Water quality experts monitor for 91 naturally occurring and man-made regulated contaminants, as required by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. But the authority goes above and beyond that by monitoring for more than 75 unregulated contaminants in its compliance laboratory. The authority's research and development team tackles the additional challenge of monitoring for pharmaceutical and personal care products, which are also unregulated. Well, pharmaceuticals are synthetic and natural organic compounds that are sometimes found in medicines. And the Southern Nevada Water Authority has developed some very sophisticated analytical techniques to monitor for these in our water system. In fact, the Water Authority collects thousands of samples each year and conducts even more analyses to ensure of your water's quality. We use cutting edge technologies to ensure our water is treated and tested to the highest standards. And because of all of these things we do, we know our water meets or exceeds all state and federal Safe Drinking Water Act standards. Pharmaceuticals can be introduced into water sources through sewage and reclaimed water, which is why the SNWA and the Clark County Water Reclamation District ask residents not to flush unused or expired medicine or pour it down the drain. The safest and easiest way to dispose of any medications is to take them to a police substation. You'll find collection boxes at several police substations in Clark County, including Las Vegas Metro, Boulder City, Henderson, Mesquite, and North Las Vegas. You should never flush any medicine down the toilet. Instead, remove your personal information from the labels, place the bottles in a bag, and take them to your closest police substation during regular business hours. Each substation has a box located in the lobby where you can just drop off the medicine and leave. It's that simple. Can't do a drop off? With a few easy steps, you can safely dispose of medication at home. First, remove prescription labels with your personal information, but do leave any warning labels intact. Next, dump pills into a sealable bag and crush them with a heavy object. Finally, add an absorbent product like coffee grounds or cat litter. If you have liquid medications, add them to the mix and seal the bag. Hide the final package discreetly in your garbage for pickup. The Reclamation District's Don't Rush to Flush program is designed to help prevent drug abuse and protect the environment. The state's largest wastewater agency delivers wastewater from residential and business customers to one of seven water treatment facilities. The Reclamation District ensures wastewater meets high treatment levels, allowing the reclaimed water to be discharged into the Las Vegas wash and back into Lake Mead. Our program identifies products that should never be dumped into the sewer system, like cooking oil and grease. Medicine disposal is a part of that program. It is our goal to educate the community on the potential dangers of dumping medicine back into our water supply. Partnering with our local police agencies has been a win-win for our community. It allows us to protect public health, protect our environment, and ensure reliable water supply. Water professionals are closely monitoring the occurrence of pharmaceuticals and personal care products in drinking water supplies and testing the effectiveness of multiple treatment techniques for removal. They are paying close attention to health effects research in this area, including research conducted by the SNWA. We've done a lot of research in pharmaceuticals, actually. Uh, one of the first things you have to do when you're doing that kind of research is you have to develop methodologies in the lab to detect them, because they, there aren't methodologies to do that. Once we develop those methodologies, then we decide 
okay, is it a problem? And if it is a problem for that particular contaminant, then how do we tweak our treatment process to remove that contaminant? And interesting enough, we use ozone as our primary oxidant in our treatment process, and ozone has been shown by research to be one of the most effective agents to remove these pharmaceuticals and personal care products. Visit SNWA.com to learn more about the stringent health-based standards that protect your drinking water quality, how your water is tested and treated, and the results of water quality analyses. And learn more about proper medicine disposal at PainInTheDrain.com. The Reclamation District has a list of all the products that should never enter our water supply. Reporting for Waterways, I'm Crystal Zelke.